If it says find the focus, the first thing that I want to look at is kind of determine what an equation I'm going to be dealing with, right? Last time when we were given a point and a focus, I said, you know, plot them so we could determine, is this going to be a vertical parabola or is it going to be a horizontal? Since I have an x squared, I am going to be dealing with a parabola that's going to open yeah. vertically, up or down, right? And you can obviously see, yeah, this is a negative 1 half, so we kind of already know that it's going to open downward, right? And that's just from our um, formal work that we've done before. So to find the focus, though, since we know this is vertical, we know that it's going to have to be in this format. Uh, I'll write over here. x minus, I'm sorry. Yeah, x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k, right? We're going to have to write it in this format, right? To find out what our focus is, which is our p, we need to write it in that format. This is not in that format, is it? No. So, so what we need to do to write it into this format is this is when we're going to come back into that completing the square, all right? So. We see we have an x squared minus x plus 1 half. We need to write that like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to complete the square. Now, we could say factor out a negative 1 half, right? And that could work. But what we could also do is rather than factoring out a negative 1 half, is it OK if I just multiply everything times a negative 2? If I have an equation x minus 3 equals 10, right? And I multiply everything by 2, I get 2x minus 6 equals 20. Are those going to provide me the exact same answer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's OK. As long as you multiply everything by a constant and you're consistent with that, it's OK. You're going to get, still get the same answer. This, you'd add 3 to both sides. Oh, I'm sorry, you, uh, um, x minus 3. Yeah, so you're still going to get, I should. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But you're still going to get the exact same answer. I should have used x plus 3, but either way. So, um, so for this example, let's multiply everything. I don't like using that. OK, I don't want to use that either. So here, um, we'll have a negative 2y equals negative 2 times negative 1 half. It's just going to leave you with an x squared plus 2x minus 1. Does everybody follow me right there? OK. So now we have a trinomial. And now what we can do is complete the square, right? Yes? Well, so one thing I can do is let's add the 1 to the other side. Let's isolate these terms. So now I have a negative 2y plus 1 equals x squared plus 2x. So remember, by completing the square, you take b divided by 2 and squared, which in this case is 2 divided by 2 squared, which equals 1. So I add 1 to both sides. Therefore, I have negative 2y plus 2 equals x squared plus 2x plus 1, which now this is a perfect squared trinomial. So I can factor this down to negative 2y plus 2 equals x plus 1 squared. And then here, I can factor out a, well, I'm going to leave this as, since I want it to be a positive y, I'm going to factor out a negative 2. OK. So now, does this equation look very similar to the equation I have in the purple? Yeah, only thing I'm going to change is I'm just going to rewrite it so it's in that same, same format. So I have x plus 1 squared equals negative 2 y minus 1. OK, so now they're kind of, you know, um, yeah, I just swapped them, yeah. I just swapped them around. So you can see that it looks exactly like the formula. So ladies and gentlemen, we're on our final stretch, right? All we need to do is figure out what the value of p is. So if you look at this, you have x is x, you know, h is 1, k is negative 1. So we need to figure out what p is. p is our, the distance between our focus and our um, vertex. So we figure out what p is. So 4p equals 
negative 2. What? 4p equals negative 2, right? This is equal to this. So then we solve for p. So we could say p equals negative 1 half. Okay, now to find the focus, remember the focus is a point. Since this is negative 1 half, that means my parabola opens downward, right? That distance is downward, so let's go and figure out what the vertex is. So if my vertex is, let's see, my vertex is at negative 1, um, negative 1, positive 1. It's opposite, opposite of h, opposite of k. It's different than the other one. So we have negative 1, comma 1. Okay? And then if we looked at that point, negative 1, positive 1. But now, remember my p, since that's negative, that, and my, my parabola opens downward, that means the fo is the focus going to be above or below the vertex? Below. So my, so my vertex, or my focus, is going to be um, h comma k minus, or your, your p, which is subtracting my 1 half, because we know it's negative. So it's going to be negative 1 comma positive 1 half. Okay. Which I don't want to get confused because the p is negative, which we know. So it's going to be 1 minus 1 half, which is be negative 1, 1 half. OK? How did you come up with the vertex? hk. Right? It's opposite of h, opposite of k. So if this is 1, then it's negative 1. This is negative 1, then it's positive 1. It's the opposite of h, opposite of k. So just remember now, so then you're going to subtract. Since p is negative, you subtract. So it's going to be 1 minus 1 half, which is 1 half. Okay. Anybody have any questions? General?